So, now that, now the scissor walker sort of passed, was there anything back here? I think I could hide where the scissor walker was hiding. No, the scissor walker was just high in the area that kind of looked like a hiding spot. Well, that's a little devious. Let's move on, Rooney. Out the way we go. Where will we stop? I don't know, I'm gonna look this way though. I think we've explored this back area. This is only just the back area. We should return back to the main hall and then look at the upstairs area and the front hall area. I haven't really gotten a chance to explore the front hall area, so I'm gonna do that right now. I was getting chased last time when we came through here, because there's all these hallways and some I chose the right one to end up in this room, so. Flyers to the theater are lined up on the rack. Is there a movie theater we can go inside? Way too many romance movies. I think there might be a movie theater we can go inside. Wow, there's all these movie posters. But I think are those parodies of Gala horror films? Let me find out. I want to see the parodies of Gala horror films. Oh, that's like an Asian name. Uh, no, they're more like Asian horror movie poster parodies. Nothing to say about all this blood right here, though. Someone wasn't a big fan. Something. More soda machines, which I'm not going to use too many of. I'm going to investigate see what this is, because there's a few doors here I want to investigate. Starting with you. Oh, a phone charger! This is exactly the sort of thing I was actually just looking for. Fantastic, because I want to save my game so I can keep this billiard ball and continue looking around. And the events I've already seen. I should recharge my smartphone just in case. That's the spirit. Rooney Simpson. Fun, fun. Okay. Is there a guy in spot here? Or is it? On the counter is a single sheet of paper covered in writing. Or is this another uh, reference? This looks like a list of passenger names? Yeah, this thing's the Kickstarter fun. Maybe these are passengers who came to the theater. Bum, 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 bum. There's seats here. A dash of blood taints the edge of a sofa. There's no telling how many people were sacrificed in this lobby alone. There's one way you can tell. Count the bodies. There's a movie poster here I can observe compared to all the other movie posters. This appears to be a war movie set in the Middle East. Oh, that's all I gotta read about. A female pilot who looks like they might be a protagonist display on the front of the poster. <clears throat> now there's two doors here. There's also whatever this is. What is this? All the lights in the elevator control panel buttons are out. The floor display isn't lit up. Looks like it's not working. This elevator is not working. Can we go outside this, which I assume is the movie theater? It looks like the movie theater. Yes, we can go inside the movie theater. I want to take a look inside. Time to go check out the movies. Take a nice little stroll. It's obviously going to be something I'm just going to do here in a movie theater set. I like how many different locations there are, despite this being, again, it's fairly low budget. Well, let's take a look through there. Nope, it's not opening. A number of explosions can be faintly heard from behind the tightly shut door. The movie's playing at a time like this? No way. Huh? something else over here. Let's take a good look. The smells like... The food inside the serving car is probably spilled everywhere. The lower part of the serving car is stained and the faint smell of stew is wafting in the area. Can we observe it again? Yeah, okay, we could, but there's no good reason to. Skip through that. This area is just blocked. Can't even listen. Can we enter inside movie theater three? Please let this movie theater we can enter. I dream of a movie theater. It's open. I'm happy. Let's go check it out. Coming to a theater near you. I wanted to see what was going on here. Even if there's not a movie playing, I just wanted to see this. Also, I could see some amusing things happening here in a clock tower type game, so... I have to admit, movie theater's got a lot of promise. Choose your seat, everybody! Rows and rows. 
was. I could run down, but I'm seeing if there's anything suspicious in any of the seats. I feel like if the scissor walker popped up in here, it could be potentially interesting, potentially da- ooh, ooh. Kelly? Uh, oh! Kelly! Uh, uh. Oh, oh, Rooney. I feel like I just got back from hell. Did the monster get to you? I was running from it, then I fell and hit my head. Uh, ouch! It's left a lump, all right. I'm surprised we found you, actually. Still, good to see the. Okay. Good, still say that you're alive, too. You don't didn't run into that thing? I did. I managed to escape somehow. Aha, so even the Death Witch Diva has enough common sense to run away from that thing. Excuse me? Oh, I'm kidding. Relax. Which is the voice we gave her earlier, so that's why we're rolling with it still. Right now we need a plan. That thing's still out there, right? Most likely. We need to think of a way, to s a way out of this. Here's hoping there is one. Security fired their guns at the thing and it ate all the bullets like candy. Just literally ate them, picked them one to one, like, anyways. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I'm going to scout around, see if I can find somewhere to lie low. Here. Boy, you're slow. I'm trying to give you my number. You're going to need it, right? Uh oh, right. Let's make a traffic Scooby Doo. You add Kelly's number to your contact list and snap in accounts. Look at that right now, even. Saul's still talking about that. All the people's messages. I can't make a post. I'm getting all these phone numbers. Let me call people. Kelly. Won't answer my phone. Leonard. Won't answer my phone. Maria. Won't answer my phone. I'm just such a loser. No one ever wanna talks to me. Eeyore. That's all I can think of in that one. Anyways, let's see if there's anything else inside this last row of the movie theater. Going down, that guy doesn't really seem like this anything. It seems like Kelly was the big feature attraction of our favorite movie theater. So let's go in there. I'm just happy you could have actually entered. And I'm assuming that maybe you could possibly hide here if the scissor walker was coming for you. Maybe. Let's move on out. Though, given the scissor walker, and I don't think this is the room I choose to go into, the scissor walker was chasing. So, yeah. Back out we go. Now, can we go through this door at the end, or is it locked? It's locked. It's not going to open. That's what I thought. I thought this movie here, theater was probably going to be a dead end, so I'm not too surprised. There's still more areas for us to check out besides the movie theater. Go, Rooney, go! We got this. Got things to dodge and evade and scissor walkers to try and run from. Wait, is there somebody still crying in this theater? Let me find out. They never stopped. Okay. Out we go. Where will we stop? Probably back out here and hopefully the scissor walker. Yeah, I wasn't too excited to see us there. I'm gonna go upstairs, because there's probably stuff I still need to find. Now, I did get Billard Ball, but it was called Billard Ball B, so maybe I'm looking for so far. Ooh, my cell phone's going off. Let's answer. Rooney, that's you? I've just met up with the others. Met up? Yeah, you know the cargo hole in the shopping area? We're hiding in there. The doors look like they can take a bean better than any other place on the ship. Seems safe enough. Get your ass in here. Okay, I'm on my on the way. Just one thing. We've locked the doors on the inside. We'd be screwed if the monster got in here. Uh, do something and I'll let you in. Okay, so I should call you when I get to the doors, right? Yeah, don't keep us waiting. Okay, so I'm going to do a choice thing here. I've got my phone. So I'm going to use my phone. I'm going to save here. I should recharge my solar phone just in case. Yep. Thankfully, our phone signals didn't go out around this time. 
or else this plan would be screwed. So I think I know what they're talking about, too. I think they're talking about those doors that I could observe earlier, but said, nope, they're super locked. Never getting in here. Never, ever getting in here. Which should be right over here. I didn't really get a good chance to explore that. No, there's nothing over there. So let me just kind of head to what they're talking about and see what's going on there. Let's move. This way we go. It might be a trap. Maybe the scissor walker stole her phone and imitated her voice to let me know to come right over here so that he could come and he could scissor me up. It's a possibility. So now I call her. Kelly, I'm here. It's me, Rooney. I'm at the doors. Alright, come on in. Yep, I knew exactly where they were talking about. I'm happy. Let me put the phone away. <clears> That's, of course, Kelly's part. Oh, yeah, here we go. There's everybody here. Everybody! My friends. Not everybody, but a lot of people. Nothing's getting through that door. We should be safe hurricane down here. Help is coming? Hell if I know, but now shit hits the fan, someone from the crew must at least know something. Anyway, did you see either Monica or Jessica on the way over here? I didn't. I can't reach them by phone or text. I no, I haven't seen them. Oh, no, I haven't seen them. Sorry, I read that backwards. Damn, I'm sure they're stowed away somewhere safe, just like us, though. I'm not so certain. Talk a little bit more. I'm gonna go look for Monica. What? You serious? Yes, and also the professor and Jessica. Can't wait for Scissor Walker Massacre to happen up in here. We haven't confirmed everyone is safe after all. Gee, wow, you really do have a death wish. You know there's a murderous freak on a rampage out there. I'm aware of that, but I also want to find a way out of this crisis. Whoa, since when were you this proactive type? Since murderous psychopaths. Oh right, your death wish must have busted your instincts for survival. Why am I so death prone? Why does everyone call me death prone Rooney? Ah oh, hell, it's your life. Go throw it away. See if I care. Do you have Monica or Jessica's contact details? I don't. Right, you never qualified to be a member of the Bitch Brigade. Hold up, I'll send the details your way. You add Monica and Jessica to your contact list. So there was a reason for me to come in here. I got their phone numbers. Listen, it's not just you and me using this place to hide. Everyone back here wants to make it out of this alive. So if you come running back here with that freak on your tail, there's no way I'm opening this door. God, I won't do anything to lay it back here. Damn straight. Don't let your guard down out there. Yeah, yeah, I am. You might be a loony with a death wish, but I feel better wa waking up in the morning if people I know aren't murdered. Okay, so it's all the same stuff still, though. <clears throat> Let me talk to everybody else in here. Some of them I know, some of them I don't know. Um, nice to meet you. I'm Rooney. My, my, it takes a special kind of person to greet someone so normally given the circumstances. I'm Angie. You only got in here a little while ago, right? Did you come across survivors out there? I actually, I can't find my husband, John. T oh. It's her, I should, sure, yeah, Angie, John Thompson's kind of dead, yeah. John Thompson, maybe you've heard something? No, I've not talked to any survivors other than Kelly and acquaintance. Oh. At the end of the day, he's a very capable man. He's probably safe and sound somewhere, but still. I overheard you're going out there to find your friends, aren't you? Yes, and also if I stay here, I'll never know if there's a way for us to escape. True, you're a brave one. If you're going, you'll need your friend's contact details. Monica, was it? Oh, I got her contact details from Kelly just now. 
But th not these details. The number was on my husband's smartphone. You see, a little while back, I called my husband's smartphone and go, Oh, this is why I need... Okay, so I noticed this was one of the branching pathways since I did something to have a conversation with her because Monica doesn't actually have her cell phone right now. She has uh, the other guy's cell phone. So I got the contact details for her husband because that's who what Monica has right now. Okay. I called my husband's smartphone. A girl called Monica answered, and I wouldn't, this probably wouldn't have been accessible if I didn't do the call thing earlier. Okay, I get it. She said she found her smartphone lying around. Maybe she still got it on her now. I see, so I might be able to reach Monica using that number. Exactly, so note down John's number. You bet, John Thompson's your contact list. I called John's smartphone several times, trying to get back in touch with Monica. But I can't get through to anyone. I hope nothing happened to her. Creepy ass Barbie face. Let's check through there. Mm, hello, young lady. You seem quite tired. Are you alright? Not a list, but... Yes, I'm alright. Thanks. Right, don't let yourself get in a panic now. To be honest, this kind of situation almost makes me feel excited. And someone back here. Oh, it's Vigo, the guy I'm awfully suspicious of because there is some of his stuff on the Colt Island. We saw his eyeball, and we also saw found his gloves. I'm awfully sorry that things come to the, have come to this. Huh? Surely there's no need for you to apologize. Oh, there is. I'm Vigo Barristoff, the owner of this ship. And yet, I don't have a clue what's happening or why. I am responsible for everything that happens on this ship. Let's talk a little bit more. You mentioned that you're the owner of the ship, right? So you wouldn't happen to know a way off this floor, would you? Off this floor? Don't tell me you're contemplating leaving this room. I... There's someone I want to find. It's important. Reckless for sure, but perhaps I didn't mean to skip that. You found an item. Key to emergency staircase. Good to know. I'll talk to him again. The emergency stairwells at the, the emergency stairwells at the very end of this floor. At the end of the aisle is the movie theater. Yeah, I went to the theater. Whatever you're looking for, they must be important to you if you're willing to risk your life and limb to find them. I pray you find them without incident. The passenger's happiness is my trade, after all. Thank you, and I will. The emergency stairwells at the very end of this floor. At the end of the aisle is the movie. Oh, I know where that is. But before I do that, there's some side things I also want to do. Let's go on out. Talk to everybody. No, it's not over there. So I got the key to the escape staircase. Thankfully, I know exactly where that is. So I think I can take advantage. So I kind of first want to finish exploring around here. I didn't really get a full chance to explore everything quite yet. So... Let's go take a moment, things to go on, see. Let's go on, let's go on. Mm -hmm. On to the next, opening up the door, and out. <sighs> I should save my game. Logically, that is a sensible thing to do. I'm gonna get whatever ending I am getting. Right now, I think I actually have a chance about maybe getting one of the better endings in the game, maybe even possibly the best ending if I keep up with what I'm doing. But I need, even if I don't, it's okay. I'm making good progress, whatever I'm doing here. Rooney Simpson, right there. Now, I got one of the bad endings earlier, but that's just because of this one mess up I did. But yeah, I. Before I explore too far, I do have a billiard ball, and I think I know where that goes, and I haven't really explored all out here either. I kind of just ran in here when I was getting chased, so I was like, oh no, it's the scissor walker, and then I ran. But yeah, I, maybe there's more I can do, like what's in here? It's actually open. Is this where I came from, or is this another area? This, no, no, it's darker than it was from the hallway I came from. And this door is different, so yeah, this is a different area. Let's see what's around here. 
Hainers. That's the immediate first thought. There are many Hainers in here. Can I interact with the jukebox? Let's find out. It's an old being up jukebox that's seen their years. None of the lights adorning its frame are working, so it's probably just intended to be a compliment or a compliment to the interior design. Up of the room. That's about what I expected. Hmm. Uh oh, mystery of the year. It's gonna achieve it from there. Why is this on? Why is it buzz to life? Several button like protrusions that Ram yields no results. Doesn't need to have any intention of shining up now. He's probably got his room before the scissor walker shows up, but you know, whatever. Newspaper. It looks like some water spilled from the glass onto the table. Yeah. I need to finish exploring this room, being me. Something back there. I'm not sure that there's anything too important in this room. The music's kind of nice. There's doll hands here. Or hands. This is a base piece of work. Is this how the monster finds pleasure? Is there any purpose in displaying its victims like this? It's like the butcher bird, which impales its prey for later consumption? Dots. Analyzing the most of a monster won't get me anywhere. Maybe just like saying hands up and coat racks. Now then, moving on from here. This place has been kind of a mess there. I'm gonna examine this one more time. Why is it like a bust of life? But like protrusions don't work. Disco all day. Let me go back out here and explore a little bit more. So, yeah. Out we go. There's a lot of interesting areas to explore here. I'm appreciative. Let's continue running down the way. Ah, what is this? It's a card key for your terminal used to verify use of the elevator. I did not read what the second part said. It looks like a priority elevator for crew members or VIPs. I'm not going to be able to use it without a card key. I don't have a card key yet, but I'll keep in mind this is here. Listen, this won't work here. It's a key. Not that. I know where this key goes to is the dumb thing. I shouldn't even have tried that. Because I know exactly where this card key goes. Well, at least I'm now forming a map in my head of how everything fits together. So, yeah, let's go this way. Hippity hoppity. Let's take a turn here and move down the alleyway. Now, I'm going to check out the billiard room again and the party room and see if there's anything there now that everything's gone to shit. But yeah, I don't know yet. Guess we'll find out. Open the door and let's take a look. I haven't actually been inside uh, that one guy's room since everything went to shit. Maybe I can explore it more thoroughly now. Or maybe he's dead. Maybe I wouldn't know if I didn't come back in here. Unfortunately, his room has gone rather dark. Bathroom's still open, though. The base of the bathtub is lined with a shallow amount of water and something resembling insect wings are bobbing. Are those butterfly wings? No, maybe moth wings. There are fly wings there. Right, we did see a moth thing earlier. Like at the very beginning of the game. Let me open this now that I'm using the flashlight. I'm trying not to drain the phone, because this drains the phone battery a lot. If, for maybe obvious reasons. There are no personal items on the table, a reflection of Jeremy's sculpture of his personality, but there was a bottle of wine here earlier. Where, where did the scissor walker take it, or is, maybe he was in cahoots with a scissor walker and just made me throw off his trail. I'm still suspicious of goddamn Jeremy. A number of receipts and tickets for tomorrow's poolside event are on the drawer. Okay, I can't really feel like going to that event anymore. But he saved your life. I think I enter. Oh, wait, I can't track this bedroom. Now I can actually enter, which you wouldn't enter before. Hmm. There on the table? There's nothing on the desk other than a stationery such as ballpoint pens, no pens, some complimentary utensils. Nothing else to say? Yep. Nothing else to say. It's a nice bed, though. Hmm. 
Not there. I was just making sure it wasn't like anything else sticking out. It looks like an odd piece of art. Well, okay. Oh wait, there's something on the bed I can observe. I think I can only see that bed prompt at a certain weird angle. So I'm just gonna let her run to it and observe. The bed is made of uh, and appears untouched. Well, that was enticing. And then this corner. Nope. So there wasn't really much of a point in this bedroom. But now I know. Curiosity subdued. Let's turn it back on. Yeah, not really finding too much more here. Let's go back on now. I'm gonna go to the billard room and see if billard ball B comes in any use. Then I'm gonna go into the dining room and then I'm gonna finally use this key and get the fuck out of here like I'm supposed to be doing, but I want to explore a little bit more here. I can also turn off my lights now. That's locked, and on the way that can be opened. Let's go to the billard room. Now that I've been stalked by a scissor walker, is there anything else I can do in here I couldn't do before? Including a game of billard. Ooh. There is unfortunate blood here. This is new. Several billard balls are sprawled haphazardly across the pool table. If I remember correctly, pools play with nine balls. Quite a few of them seem to be missing. B? You can't use that here. Like, I'm pretty sure I can, but I don't have everything yet or something. I'd be very surprised if I can use that at all. Let's sign here. No. Oh. 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 <laughs> Walker was playing goddamn darts with me. I kind of wish I saw that death scene now, but whatever. Run, I didn't save for a little bit. Just wasn't what I was expecting, to say the very least. Uh-oh. This turns out badly. I can't go that way. This is bad. This is potentially very bad. Yeah, this is all I can do. Fend it off, gotta fend it off! Oh, never mind. Actually, I saved not that long ago. The only time it's just the jukebox, which I'd like to see if possible, but yeah. I, I want to see the. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to load my save so I can see the death scene of me getting killed by a dart. I only think that holds a lot of promise. But yeah. And then I'm going to reload and actually play seriously. And thankfully, there's, so I know that there's nothing more I need to collect there. There's nothing I saw, so. Unless, of course, his body has something I have to get after I get chased around a little bit. But it's, I don't think so. I mean, I guess I could find something. It's a possibility. I saved right here, and where I need to go is to the movie theater route, but I'm just going to quickly first do a death thing, and then I'm going to go and do my more serious things for a second, because there wasn't much I missed this direction. I just want to see the Billard death. My curiosity will not be subdued until I know how I get killed by a Billard if it just goes right through the face. Since so Rocker just sitting there playing darts, because why wouldn't he? At my face, but still though. The scissor walker has baby sounds involved into it, and there's some baby sound stuff also happening earlier, so let's go through here. Go, Rooney, go! Get Billard in the face! Because I guess scissor walker plays Billard in his downtime. And then to observe here. There's a wet circular impression at the table. Looks like someone was just drinking here just a moment ago or something like that. Yep, only moments ago. Interesting notes. Is there anything over here? Someone has left an unfinished bottle of whiskey and overflowing ashtray on the counter. Maybe the whiskey could help me forget any of this happening. Probably not a good idea. Nothing else here. Eh. Ah. I'll just drink there moments ago. Not gonna observe that, because obviously know what that's gonna trigger. Anything about darts? The darts machine has been left powered on. Hmm. So I should obviously observe this and get killed, because I want to see the death scene. See the death scene now. Oh.
I was appeased by such a death scene. So I'm fine with that. Now save data. Just want to see what that would uh, trigger there. I want to see what pathway I'm still across. Unfortunately, it doesn't keep up with my current save file. Like, I'm pretty sure I'm still not in Chapter 2. I'm pretty sure I'm going through Chapter 3, but it hasn't updated to say where I am at yet. Well, we'll see when it comes and goes, I guess. Continue. Yes. Now, moving from there. So, the only thing I'm going to trigger this time is the goddamn uh, one machine. What I mean by that is uh, I'm going to trigger the jukebox, see if there's anything that way, and if there's nothing, then I'll take it as good and be on my way out of there. So, yeah. <clears throat> I just want to see that thing, so shh. Let's go over here and see if we can trigger off whatever scene for a second. All I'm trying to see is if I can get the jukebox scene to trigger, just because I kind of like the jukebox scene. I don't know if that's like any of importance. Sometimes the super small things you wouldn't expect are kind of important in the Clock Tower universe, but... Now this isn't precisely a Clock Tower game, but it's totally a Clock Tower game. It's okay, Capcom's not going to do anything with the IP anyway. It actually surprised me because it came a little bit later. I was like, oh, isn't that going to turn on yet? Why is it like Buzz to Life? It's a mystery. I'm over this way. Yep, spill on the table. I'll walk over here. I'm going to examine the arms up here. Does the monster find pleasure in decorating arms up? I don't know. You'd have to ask the scissor walker. I wouldn't know. I'm gonna rapidly and carefully walk over this way. No, not in a circular motion, we got this. She's got this. Got it, okay. Dance a little bit next to this. It's a catchy tune. Oh, which means it's a full big rock tune, but it's enjoyable. Pleasant. Let's go on back out. So, now I'm going to do what I'm actually supposed to be doing now that I've sort of explored and know where the miscellaneous things are. Obviously, the key which I'm trying to use is for the theater, so I'm going to go through the theater area, and this is, I went the wrong way. And where I need to go is over here. If one must rush to the door like I'm doing right now, might as well do it with a key in hand that's supposed to be unlocking the escape emergency staircase. Now, it looks like I have to come back to the room I was just in anyway eventually. At the very least, it seems like there is an elevator which needs a certain key card, and maybe I can get the key card from the emergency uh, staircase room area, whatever floor I'm about to go to. To be honest, though, this has been my favorite floor of the cruise ship so far. It's got a movie theater and a nursery and a strange creepy mannequin store and a strange jukebox restaurant room and it's got the diner and... Anyways, I just thought there's been a lot of interesting rooms in this segment, so yeah, yeah. I... I'm not going to save my game because it's not really important what I did. I don't even know the, the jukebox and that thing probably don't make any big difference, but you never know, you never know. So until I know, I'm going to sort of rush on forward. Right over to this door.